Hey guys, welcome back to Caveman Mining. On tonight's video, we are going to be doing some hash rate testing for the new RX 6600 XT. And uh, the version I have is the MSI Mech 2 Fan Edition. And um, it's running Samsung memory, as you can see here in Hive OS. So, um, pretty efficient card. And uh, first, we're going to keep this video around Ethereum and kind of mess with some clocks that uh, I have in mind to see if we can get up to uh, over 32 mega hash. So let's, um, before we go into it, I always like to start with uh, the flight sheet, okay? And we're gonna be using NB Miner, okay? So I'm just going to edit a, um, a flight sheet for you guys just so you can see what we are doing in terms of actual minor and uh, flight sheets. So let's just see, it should be NB test. Not seeing it here, which is quite strange. So let me go back to the main flight sheet and let's see NB test Ethereum. Okay. So if we go into edit, okay, the coin you want to choose is F E T H. So you can type that in or you can search from the drop down and um, you know you guys can set up any ethereum wallet exodus or a uh, couple other wallets that are out there um, I'm using the hive on pool okay so you guys can use uh, ether mine or any of the uh, popular pools um, my server is going to be east and just looking at the NB miner configuration on here just running ethash um, leaving all the arguments um, default okay and the version just making sure it's the latest version which is 39.2 okay so we have all that we apply the change um, I'm gonna go ahead and just run that and let's go back to our worker and you're gonna see that I have a 3060 on this rig which um, uh, it's my test bench, so I was just testing some of that out and actually just too lazy to remove that card So we'll we'll mine with that card too, but uh, just keep the focus on the uh, 6600 XT and let's go ahead and uh, restart the miner and what I'm going to do is run a Hive shell to get into the miner so we can actually start to see the live hash rates of the card and see what it's actually doing in terms of performance okay so uh, this will run for just a second here and just so you know we're not running any overclocks this is just the card is going to be running baseline um, default stock values and uh, we probably should get around 28 or 27 mega hash from what I understand so let's see if that is actually uh, holding true and I don't know what happened to our worker okay so we've got shell let's get in here this so the command is minor and enter and yes so you can see the AMD card there is pulling 28.71 mega hash at a power of 49 watts which actually in general is not it's not too bad I mean this is not running anything special 586 in terms of efficiency so that's interesting uh, and you can see our 3060 card is now starting to kick on so uh, let's just wait to get an actual share before we start messing with the overclocks on this card so we're just starting to pile up on the jobs and uh, hopefully we'll see a share in just a second here but uh, yeah this this card is fairly new um, not too much research in terms of like who's running the most efficient I've seen some videos out there in terms of people getting power low uh, power levels or limits of like 46 watts watts which is quite impressive um, and getting you know over 32 mega hash so that's it's not bad I'm still waiting for that like one person to really like dig into this card because I think not enough time has gone by to where people have experimented uh, kind of fully with this card uh, to see its its um, true capabilities so 
Uh, let's go ahead over and start putting in some clocks here. So for the uh, core clock, we are going to start with 1450, okay? Uh, the core voltage, we're gonna do 640. I'm gonna leave the memory controller um, default value. Memory clock, we're gonna do 1125. Memory voltage, we're not gonna touch. Uh, I'm just gonna put the fan up to 100%. Not gonna touch the uh, power limit uh, here, and we'll just see what what we can do uh, in terms of running it. So let's go ahead and go back to shell. So you can see um, it's going to change here in just a second in terms of hash rate. So Hive is starting to spool up here. And um, yeah, I'm quite eager to see what this card actually pulls and uh, if we can get or break the 32 mega hash. So I was reading uh, someone else on the threads that has this MSI um, mech edition card that uh, they, they offered up these clocks to, to try here. And you can see already we're, we bumped up to 31, 21 mega hash. Okay, the power, power limit is actually gone up by three watts, which is, this is again, software watts. It's not at the wall, so it's not like a true or accurate reading of what this card should actually pull. Um, so we just kind of take that with a grain of salt uh, and, until we can actually get the at the wall measurements. But uh, okay, we've got our first share and we've broken the barrier on 32 mega hash. And we've gone up another watt according to the software, sitting at 47 degrees. So let's see if we can get this a little higher. I'm thinking we could probably see a little bit higher of a hash rate. And got the fourth share accepted, two and two, okay, 3209. I'm going to wait until two more reported hash rates come through and a couple more shares to actually say that this is a successful overclock um, because, uh, yeah, I mean, we just don't want to not not get shares because that, that's going to be a problem and, and that's not going to be a real accurate reporting of the overclock and um, everything there. So, again, we have gone a little higher. Up here, 32.12 mega hash, and still sitting at 53 watts. And the temperature has actually gone down by a degree in the last couple cycles of the hash rate reporting, so that's a good sign. Efficiency is still going up, so 606.1 for efficiency. That's nice. Okay, we've got another share, 32.13, and still climbing. So we're gonna wait for one more reporting on the hash rate. And actually got, it's, it's received more shares now um, than the 3060. So the 3060 was the first card to pull a share when we started mining, um, kicking up this NB miner. So that's a good sign. And we continue to see more shares come in. So 32.14. And uh, geez, that uh, 3060 card is, is uh, ramping up to at 33.87. So that's pretty nice to see. Uh, we're gonna wait for this last hash rate to come in before we kick in some profitability prospects to see you know the uh the value of this card and the return on investment to see if this is worth getting okay so i figured that was going to happen we're sitting at 53 watts 32.14 okay mega hash so we're going to tab over to uh, what to mine and we're going to do the 6600 xt and we're going to go to ethereum okay because that's what we are mining and uh, we've got, uh, let's just, we're going to estimate here, okay? So we're going to just say like 65 watts 
um, let's just say 70, right, with the whole rig and, and everything. Uh, 0 0.12, so 12 cents a kilowatt. Hardware cost, so this um, this particular card I got on Newegg for uh, $559.99. Uh, we'll just say 1% uh, pool fee, and we'll say 32.15. We'll just round it up there, and we'll calculate. Okay, so on Ethereum, this card has a 232-day return on investment. So in general, this is not uh, terrible. I believe this card is what I would say a long-term investment card, okay? And the reason I say that is because the wattage and the electric rate, right? So this card is going to survive long after the Ethereum days are gone right when ethereum goes the way of the dodo we can't mine it anymore and we're gonna have to mine raven coin we're gonna have to mine ethereum classic we're gonna have to mine ergo so this card is going to be what i would say a great long-term investment card because of its efficiency okay so if i could get my hands on these cards super cheap now 559 is you know i would say at the top of the line in terms of the price for these things i would almost consider that like i'm not going to say it's a bad deal but that's high on the prices i've seen these cards go for as low as like 379 so if i could scoop another one of these cards for that price look at that i mean we just drop the return on investment significantly with you know just over you know 100 bucks in terms of decreased uh value of hardware cost so you know perspective okay so uh, i'm not saying don't buy the card you know at 559 but if you can get you know a version of this card that's at the you know lowest msrp go for it um would i recommend buying this card scalped and you know at whatever the prices are going for 700 bucks i would i would steer clear of that but again i'm i am not <laughs> giving you advice in terms of telling you what you should do and what you shouldn't do i mean do do what makes you happy and do what you feel is best for you for me particularly i am looking at the uh, lowest co cost of hardware so again I, i'll i'm gonna keep looking for these things because i think they're phenomenal cards uh, I love the efficiency, so if I can scoop it at 379, pulling the trigger. I'm telling you that right now, guys. So, just looking back over, um, no rejected shares, so that's a great rate, and we're still holding at that 32.12, um, still on the wattage. So, yeah, I think we could, if we spent enough time, okay, on the uh, the the overclocks of the card and started tweaking and refining this we could definitely get that power level down probably i would say confidently you know maybe five uh five to eight more watts down um but yeah i'll keep doing that in the background but i would like to know from you guys because again i don't see a lot of videos or a lot of research especially for hive os right you know a lot of people do their test bench what overclocks are you running what is your core clock what is your voltage what is your memory um and you know tell me what you're getting for wattage because uh i mean i'm still thinking this 53 watts isn't isn't half bad but man if if we could get someone down in the low 40s like tell me tell me what you're doing especially if you're holding that you know getting close to that 32 mega hash that would be like phenomenal so yeah i think let's you know the community is gonna definitely you know open open the hood up for this thing and see what what its true capability is i feel like we're just we just really scratched the surface in terms of what this card can do so um future is definitely looking bright for this card and uh, i'm pretty excited to have one in my hands and uh, definitely be looking for more of them so uh yeah guys that being said uh feel free to like and subscribe uh that's 
the lifeblood of what keeps the channel going. It keeps me going and allows me to bring more content to you guys and really surface the content up on YouTube. So it's much appreciated. I want to thank you all for your support and we'll see you next time.